Доброго дня. Good afternoon to all. Now I would like to invite uh, participants uh, of uh, uh, Libovitsku, Evgena, Mikhail Mirslav Marinovich, and Lecha Rybachuk, and Mr. Dobrovsky. They will speak about uh, the vision of Ukraine, of Ukraine 2025. And there is a sub uh, subtopic, uh, the agreement of dignity for, this, uh, for the sake of uh, sustainable uh, development. Good afternoon. I would like uh, us. Uh, I would like us uh, to tell you about this document, why it is important, and uh, I will begin with uh, introduction. Mr. Mr. Group, that's uh, 17 experts uh, from different uh, fields, so different sectors, and uh, all of them uh, have different uh, uh, interests and competencies. And uh, these are the people who agreed to sacrifice a lot of their time except uh, their full-time job to work f on to develop something which in our opinion is very important uh, to create to build the concept on which uh, we can base the understanding of how ukraine can develop all members of the group uh, we are from different uh, different uh, regions of Ukraine and from uh, Kiev. All the members of the group, they are the people who expert uh, knowledge of uh, their subject matter. And uh, not only they understand that they are um, field of experience, but also they have different approaches, uh, different experience and uh, ways of thinking. And inter interdisciplinarity is not only because they understand uh, different, uh, different subjects, but uh, they can use their way of thinking and uh, when they discuss uh, the same subject. So this is practically the work the homework we should uh, we should uh, do and at the beginning of the of building of Ukraine and we didn't do that all this time because in the process of the work we had to answer fundamental uh, questions and uh, answers are not uh, clear what is Ukraine for example what, what what Ukraine is not who are Ukrainians is Ukrainian uh, is it the, just a combination of regions or something else? And how to divide it? How we can look at Ukraine under different angles and uh, what Ukraine can become and what Ukraine cannot become? In the discuss, uh, there are a lot of discounts like uh, Sin Singapore uh, development, U European way of development, Turkish uh, development, and uh, some others. Uh, those Some models fit and some models don't. It's very important about the group that we are independent. In the middle of the group, there are people who have different uh, sympathies, and uh, but uh, this is not a political uh, or party project, and this is not uh, a project for the prime minister position or whoever, any political force or some other future ambitions. This is um, quite a, as to political obligations, this is quite a, an independent project. And it was important for us that the result of our work could be accept, ac acceptable by any, any Ukrainian f group. We started to work on that uh, issue on this document in 2012, and uh, we had uh, monthly meetings. We had uh, longer and shorter meetings, and uh, we would uh, close ourselves uh, for several days. And uh, but uh, today, so uh, we had uh, uh, some more than uh, 10 meetings and discussions, and uh, now we have uh, the first document, the document. Uh, at the base of what what is the most important in our opinion that's it's a document of fund fundamental level it is called uh, the agreement of dignity for the sake f of sustainable development and this is the document we in the end of this press uh, conference uh, we will uh, give it to you i would like to in, in, uh, invite uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Miranovich, who will uh, uh, describe how it fits into the whole system. Good afternoon. We started our work when Yanukovych uh, started uh, to dismantle Ukrainian, uh, demontage Ukrainian uh, state successfully. And we finished our work when, as you see, 
we have uh, we have aggression uh, from Russia. Members of the group are quite uh, understand risks uh, related to with this aggression, but at the same time, we decided uh, not to consider catastrophic mo model, catastrophic models of our future, because uh, that is not a victory for us. Of intellect, uh, this is a, a, a failure of our efforts. The war is not a reason for, for uh, it's an excuse uh, for not conducting reforms. What we hear, very often we hear that under these conditions, it's impossible to run reforms. We have successful uh, examples of reforms when states like uh, Israel or South Korea, they ran reform under similar conditions, very difficult con conditions, uh, the conditions of the war. What is what is an, uh, an, an obstacle? An inertia of thinking is, a, is an obstacle. I have an impression that we, that our, uh, the state is holding us back. We cannot get rid of that uh, Soviet uh, legacy. And uh, accordingly, our effort to modernize uh, that we have today is the same uh, an old uh, system to uh, repair holes on the road, Soviet, system, uh, Soviet approach. What is the solution? We need to change the rules of the game, or we need to, to do something. What Maidan wanted, what Maidan demanded. We need to change uh, thinking or mentality and uh, to see our chances where we saw only losses. As an example, sh shortly I will mention our regional uh, differences. That was the main uh, the headache uh, for Ukraine, and uh, when, in fact, when we have, we need to, to change the concept of our unity, and it should be uh, not uh, based on homogeneity, but it should be based on harmonious uh, addition, addition, or addition of uh, sub identities or uh, the sum of identities. Also, we had some until now. Madan was a huge uh, uh, shake of uh, values that open chances for the future for us. And uh, we must achieve value uh, shift uh, in, uh, in the direction we want. And the shift means that we will not only just uh, fight for the values, and but we will be able to live according to declared values. And uh, the life circumstances show that it's uh, it's more difficult. And the last uh, many times we told in different contexts that uh, the enemy of Ukraine is very often not Putin, but corruption. Until now, we have uh, in Ukraine the situation of uh, cor corruption consensus, so-called, when other parties are more or less happy with the situation they have and how they abuse uh, the laws. We suggest uh, a different uh, social agreement, agreement on the base of, uh, of open access, uh, on the base of uh, sustainable development, and on the base of a uh, new uh, values uh, base base of values. And that's our hope, and that uh, that demands uh, lots of efforts uh, for us in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Oleg Rybachuk, Volodymyr. Good afternoon. I would like to say that for me personally, this is a unique experience. My love uh, uh, is uh, such that I was in different environments. Uh, I have never been a member of any political force, but I have always been in political processes. The group, uh, uh, our group, is a group built, uh, uh, created not accidentally. There are no accidental people there. And the document which was created in the result of two years of discussions uh, Practically every word uh, was uh, uh, verified with different personalities. There are no professional politicians in this group. Many people in the group this way or that way have uh, 
somehow uh, relation or influence the politics, but uh, on purpose we didn't have the people who were uh, political scientists, for example, because we were preparing the document which was prepared for the whole of the society. We wanted to sincerely give an answer to the question in which country everyone would like to live, and that document is still open. You will have a chance to see this document after our presentation. I would like to say that for me personally, I read it just within uh, uh, overnight because uh, or, or uh, within several minutes. I uh, was using my practical experience, my knowledge, my understanding of how new Ukraine is being developed, uh, what changes are taking place in this civil society. Why was there such a, a gap uh, between the students Maidan and uh, all the nations Maidan and the politicians who had to be the leaders of the process? And so we do hope that political experts, political leaders, different parties, those who are those who are born, those who will be created on principally different uh, basis, will have a chance to uh, be guided by that document. I use the word guided because I don't want to exaggerate, but I do not want to diminish the value of the document because for me internally, it's like a roadmap for Ukrainian, many Ukrainian leaders who want to uh, to say something, but they do it as a rule, uh, just uh, piece by piece and without giving uh, the whole vision to Ukrainians where, in which country we would like to live, how the potential of every one of us should be realized, they implemented every political force, objectively or subjectively, uh, narrows the field because they're trying to answer the question how this political force is different from another. We didn't have such problem. We didn't have such task. We were trying to show the country where we could uh, uh, demonstrate what we want. And we co will continue to work on this document. It will be very important to hear your answers. We will uh, make several presentations in English and in uh, Ukrainian, but I have the feeling that in Ukraine we have this vision of the country where each one of us would like to live. And when there is a vision, when you know where to go, it's much easier to get there. Thank you. Volodymyr Dubrovsky, economist. Good afternoon. After such an introduction about how we were preparing the document and why we were drafting the document, a few words about the content, about the logic of the document. A lot is being said that we are uh, aspiring, we're trying to get to European values. Uh, uh, a lot is mentioned about sustainable development, the development that does not ruin the own roots, uh, not just environmental, but uh, public roots as well. But uh, uh, we do not talk a lot about how we want to get there. The countries that have sustainable development, these are the countries where the uh, administrative system is different from what we have in Ukraine. In Ukraine, we have the feudalism with the limited access to political and economic opportunities. And against that uh, system, people rose when they went up to Maidan. Transition from it to the system of uh, uh, modern countries, the uh, system which made developed countries developed is not easy, and it goes uh, by a revolution, and we believe that the revolution we had is the revolution we needed to move to this open access. Now we need to pave the way to open access. To pave the way to open uh, access would mean the uh, modernization of the society, not technological, but modernization 
again, modernization is a painful process, but most part of that road we've, we've covered. And the second uh, thesis, which is of importance, is that now the nation has been formed. Uh, we have not formation of the nation on our agenda, but modernization of the nation, which we have. On this way, we have to overcome many uh, things in our values and our understanding of the world. We are describing more or less in detail what are the values, what we need to educate, how do we have to organize our life from the point of view of rules of game. There are different points of view here, and we welcome the public discussion on that. Inside our circle, we came to certain conclusions, but one more thing. The revolution is uh, ruining one uh, 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 agreement, uh, uh, and uh, instead of it, uh, we will need uh, another agreement, which will direct the country towards uh, modernization. And that is what we suggest to Ukraine. Now we, stand, uh, we can uh, start. Uh, I would like uh, to invite all members of the Nestor's group uh, to for you to see who these people are and uh, for us uh, to be able to ask questions. If there uh, will be specific uh, questions and experts on those in those um, uh, fields, uh, they will be able to answer that. And we don't have all here. Some because of trips or because of illness were not able to make it. So that's why, in such a limit, we have a limited, uh, a, a smaller group of us, but the majority was uh, present. And so, your questions, please. Questions to, uh, to our speakers and to members of the Nestor's group. Tell me, please, what is the mechanism of realization of the document? Uh, will you? How do you see that? How it will be impl implemented? The document, this is a document of experts. The, the first use is it can be used by experts on the basis of this document. We and other experts can develop those, those things which are, which are after uh, the vision. And, um, and after the vision, we have goals. And then the question is uh, how to uh, achieve those goals, and uh, that is a strategy. At the moment, expert community is not does not is not requested by uh, pol politicians, and because they have uh, quite a short short uh, term planning, and um, they have quite quite a different uh, request to expert community after. On the base of the vision, after uh, goals are developed and then strategies are developed, and then there could be a competition of uh, strategies because there are different political forces. They can see different ways of implementation of that. And uh, then on the base of the strategy, they develop uh, action plans or so instructions what should be done today, tomorrow, and after. So between this document and uh, transition to a detailed pl action plan, like a program, in a form of a program, state program, or in a form of uh, some concrete decisions in between this document and uh, these, this uh, concretization. In fact, uh, it takes uh, a couple of years uh, of good, intensive, hard work. Let me continue, extend, ex expand this uh, question. So you, you collected ex critical mass of uh, experts. There will be vision and the strategy development, and the, but how it will be implemented? Will, will you cooperate with the cabinet of ministers, with this administration of the president? Uh, that's very important uh, because it can be one more beautiful document, uh, but as a result, it will be uh, on a shelf forgotten. What's 
What is the safeguard for them not to not to put it uh, on, the sh uh, on the shelf? I'm um, uh, Victoria Brinze and a member of, the, of this group. And this uh, safeguard is the document we develop. It comes out from from uh, that is uh, what is uh, changed in the society the slowest, and uh, that is culture and values and. Uh, a child, children in schools, they know what should be done, what should should not be done, what is accessible, what is not. And these things, uh, they uh, changed very slowly, but uh, that uh, frame we uh, document we developed, it answers the question how that should be understood, how that should be discussed, and what are the preconditions for positive uh, uh, changes. For bo uh, so we initiate a discourse. We should speak about what can be achieved in the future and how they can be achieved. So it's a framed document uh, we have to discuss. And uh, what we have not done at the beginning of uh, 90s, but we did it now. I would like to add, now we have uh, a new subject of uh, um, reforms. So that is a civil society. What will uh, do the cabinet of ministers or the president? Uh, that depends on uh, on mood in the society, and what will be proposed also from experts. What will be the requirement of our international donors and uh, creditors, whom we also this we have this document in English and we'll have a presentation of it in English. We see that at present there is a big danger that civil society does not understand completely what uh, they were, uh, what we have to fight for. So we don't pretend that we are the only ones who have that knowledge. We just uh, put this uh, of the solution. We such a catch, and uh, maybe there will be some crystallization of uh, circles of uh, civil society around this. If uh, somebody will put something A at some something at, and it will be more successful, that's fine. But we have to initiate this process because if everyone in civil society fights uh, for his own interest, and uh, there is no united ideology around which unites all reform reformers of those who press on our government, then unfortunately civil society will not. Will be able only to react to some challenges, like it was uh, in the case of Yanukovych, and uh, react to some threats. But to impose uh, your own agenda, this is uh, this society, the civil society will not be able to do that in such a way. We're trying to crystallize again around some agenda. Oleg, uh, you had a comment. I would like just to say that, in fact. Uh, especially during the last year, the civil society has learned how to communicate with the authorities, and they are not the uh, younger partner. They are not just like uh, the uh, club of friends of a minister, but the civil society learned uh, how to uh, select uh, main topics and advocate them successfully and monitor how they are implemented. The civil society convinced European partners that the, no one w is able better than expert uh, in society uh, monitor uh, such things. The civil society uh, is uh, approaching advocacy very technically, and uh, the experts, uh, they spend uh, time not just in Kiev, but they go uh, outside of Kiev and do anything we are trying to do. And then uh, the um, then sociological surveys uh, are made and every government official is following the public opinion. And when we tell to citizens what uh, is really important for the civil society, then it's more difficult for the government to imitate the process. I am Madame Bankevich. I would like to mention one very ambitious moment. People of my generation who uh, 25 uh, years ago joined the uh, movement of resistance. I'm so sorry that so many strategies were developed, but we don't see any positive effect from that. And I believe that for the journalists, for the 
uh, civil society. This document will have very important criteria. We can write a big book and uh, put everything there in details, uh, but if we do not include all these universal things there, then there will be the threat that the strategy will not be successful. So these things which we know so well, we know the country, we know the society better than foreign experts who look at us from the side, but we tried to demonstrate what are the main things which are to be taken into account in any project. I am Alexandra Baklanova. I'm working on strategies. We all showed well that we uh, know how to unite against the document that we present as our contribution, our proposal on how to have something around which we can get united. And this will be uniting for something. For the society, it's uh, sound to get united around some uh, ideas, even more than around some ideas. And the ideas that we represent are our contribution. It's like a proposal of the ideas around which Ukrainians will be able to get united, different Ukrainians. We have enough intellect in the country to develop and to think uh, about what we would like to see. The question is not what we want, but how will we achieve uh, that something that people want in one part of the country uh, so that uh, people in some other part of the country are not against it. If we want to have united country, we need to look for things which will be able to unite us, get us united. Next question. Could you please tell Vyacheslav, uh, your uh, mission is very noble. Different experts are present. Don't you think that the product that you're working on probably will not be needed unless the election system is changed? When uh, people with some political ambitions come to legislator, but not professionals. What are you doing for that in your program? I am Volodymyr Vorobey, an expert on economic development. Uh, the objective of our document is to inseminate uh, these ideas into politicians. Uh, when uh, the politicians come and they see that uh, uh, in their program there are ideas from our document, that's great. Uh, we did not even look at the issue of what should be the political system of Ukraine. We were looking at the level of people, public agreement, uh, and the society. These are things. Uh, about which politicians do not want to think. And uh, the objective of our group to provide to force positively politicians and the society to think about these questions, the best will be. Well, because in my work, I travel to small, big uh, uh, towns. When you talk to common people, it would be best uh, uh, success of the document if people would ask them question would ask questions to politicians based on the things which are in the document that would force politicians to change and that is why we create this document develop it we want this document to be used by right by by rightists leftists by centrists by different parties so that they include it into their strategies we create the framework we do not say how to go where to go for that there are political forces uh, which uh, within this framework um, have to know uh, how they want to get there. Talking about, uh, well, saying it in computer terminology, that is an operational system for the society. The only difference between the operational systems that we use is that it's free of charge. In this case, we contributed our time, our desire to make it uh, 
accessible. We don't have any influence over those who can use it or may not use it, but having similar experience of the work of uh, uh, the group in Lviv, we understand that if there is a good, uh, well-developed proposal, then most probably that would be rational and reasonable that people will be using it. Any other questions? I have a few. Uh, I would like to uh, ask you again, uh, what are these um, uh, groups uh, that you have uh, uh, Maybe could you say what uh, sectors are included into the strategy? Look, we still have some uh, time for before we develop the, the strategy. This is a, a framework uh, vision. We would like uh, to fill it with uh, more information with, and we would like to, to go deeper. There are some aspects, uh, spheres that, that are just named, and we have to fill them with content. If to speak about uh, very generally, the key issue is concerns of two things, first of all, and uh, security issues. And uh, we need to, to solve those challenges. We, if we stay under such a uh, situation, we will not build, be able to build the, uh, the society we want. And uh, security uh, challenges, it's, it's outside from Ukraine and also from inside. And, Corruption that includes corruption and uh, the rule of law, ability of, of the state to have monopoly on uh, violence, etc. If we speak about the next uh, position, uh, that is the issue of uh, modernization, we must step over from uh, develop, uh, nation to development, which is, uh, in our uh, opinion, is. Uh, developed is formed and uh, to what kind of this nation should what sh should it become how it must develop on which it principles and uh, what we're talking about here is uh, how from that uh, bag we have that luggage we have with those ukrainians we don't, we don't have other ukrainians how under these uh, institutional conditions we have and the resources we have and neighbors we have how to move uh, to uh, the uh, sta stable, uh, sustainable development. If it's not, we will have uh, the situation like we had several times when there is uh, some achievement, something happens, and then we see whether it was very expensive or it's not an achievement anymore. We will lose the results again. And accordingly, we will continue our work, but also we see that, and it's very good, that in this, uh, there is competition in this uh, field, and there are some other groups that uh, they are trying to do something. And we practically create a, a foundation other groups uh, can take, and on that basis they can develop something on their own. For the, for the society to accept uh, the, a new political uh, system, a new election law, we need to understand that we wanted, with our work, we wanted to help Ukrainian society to uh, to get out of uh, this uh, vicious circle because uh, that uh, took us uh, two, 20 years uh, to walk around, and uh, the system was uh, reproducing itself. And it means that people did not uh, accept uh, uh, new rules uh, internally. They return back to those uh, rules uh, that were not uh, official and uh, which were common for them. Our work is uh, to, to understand the, those things we have, to solve the issue of security in a broad sense. It does mean that uh, sec security from uh, uh, external uh, threat. People should understand that uh, tomorrow the rules of the game will be the same, like yesterday. That allows her to plan, uh, to look broader, and to f look further, and uh, to include strategic to turn on strategic uh, thinking and uh, not to see a threat in others. We need to solve the issue of security and uh, we should have open <coughs> access and uh, how through a new social agreement. So there are a lot of uh, components uh, we need to discuss and we need to agree on. Without them, we'll uh, move uh, again around uh, this circle. How the feedback with the society uh, will you have? Will you? How will you get uh, the feedback from the society? Where can we read that? Will you take the feedback into account? How that will happen? First of all, 
there is a, a page on Nestor Group in, in the Facebook. And uh, to read, uh, you, need, you don't need to like. You can uh, send your comment, and that's it. Everything is open there. Each of us, we in, uh, represent institutions and uh, which are present in Ukraine for some time. And uh, you can, you can uh, reach anyone from the group. We are planning to have uh, lot, lots of presentations and discussions, and uh, we'll expect uh, to get uh, feedback and uh, criticism. That means that we enter the process of discussions. It will last for some time, and the document we have, it's not on stone. It will change. It will be improved. And probably some keep key positions will stay because they they come out from facts, from on values, on understanding on institutions of institutions, and that we something we cannot get rid of, but we can work on to change that. So everything is open. You're welcome if somebody wants. You can sit down, you can uh, write a comment to us, you can participate in uh, discussions, etc. The only thing, we'll do it uh, smartly, because we don't want to become a part of trolling, of um, not to become the, a part of that uh, destroyed discourse that we observe uh, very open. So we are open uh, to feedback. All the materials are ready, uh, and uh, you'll publish them on that uh, Facebook page, uh, Nestor's Group. The documents is there, it's uh, ready to be discussed, and you can uh, write uh, here. You can get uh, when you uh, you can get it, and uh, it's on the site of Ukrainian Pravda on the main uh, front page. Uh, also, there is a, it is must be. On QPost, it will be in English on their website, and uh, later it will be on Nestor's group website. So, and they're also in Facebook. So, there is no problem with download and reading, etc. Any other question? No. Thank you very much. I hope that this. Uh, this critical mass of people will allow to change uh, such strategic uh, strategic issues in the society. Our next briefing will be in uh, at uh, 2 30 p.m.